This video will go over the basic instructions for installing your proportioner system. Uh, on this particular rig, we're installing this on an NPR with a booster pump as the delivery system. However, the instructions will work for either a 12 volt system or an air compressor system as well. Your proportional will come with multiple holes which allows for different mounting options. It can be face mounted or bottom mounted and you can place your valves either on the top or the back. You will need to plug whichever holes you decide not to use with the supplied plugs. We highly recommend both taping and thread sealing these plugs to ensure an airtight seal. If you're having a problem finding an Allen wrench large enough to use, you can also use a bolt head with a pair of vice grip pliers uh, to tighten the plugs down. This particular proportioner is set up with both the flush kit and it is set up with a two-way soap valve allowing us to draw from both a soap tank or a drop tube by simply switching the three-way valve back and forth. In this picture, the valve on the right is your flush valve. The valve in the middle with quarter inch inputs is your soap valve. The hole on the left will be for your water input. The hole on the bottom is for your output of the three blended chemicals. After attaching your various hose barbs and valves, it's now time to attach the hoses. In this example, we're using half inch hoses. We highly recommend heating the hoses, then pressing them onto the hose barbs. Putting a little petroleum jelly on the hose barbs before you press them on will help the warm hoses slide on easier. We also recommend placing hose clamps on the hoses after they're properly seated. It's very important that your pickup hoses for both the bleach and the water are of the same size. Having different size and length hoses will interfere with the proportioner's ratio abilities. When it comes time to mount the proportioner, you have several options. In this instance, we are bottom mounting it to this flatbed NPR onto these risers. It could be mounted to the deck or you can rear mount your proportioner. We recommend drilling and mounting with bolts instead of self-tapping screws. We also recommend using stainless steel hardware wherever possible. The proportioner comes with steel mounting brackets as well. However, we did not use them in this installation. Tubes are created out of a landscape sprinkler riser, a filter, and a bulkhead. We've shown the various components that are included into the pickup tubes. When installing your proportioner, you will want to use top draw tubes. Do not draw from the bottom of the tank. When properly installing the flush kit, you will have two pickup tubes in your water tank. One for drawing water through the proportioner and another for drawing water through the flush kit. We've included this diagram to show you where your various pickup tubes and hoses will go. Your output will go to your pump. You'll have a pickup tube going to the water, a pickup tube going to the soap, and on your flush kit, which is a three-way valve, you'll have a tube going to water and a tube going to bleach. The installation of the flush kit will allow your proportioner to be flushed at the end of the day. We highly recommend the installation of the flush kit as it will increase the longevity of this device. These are the basic schematics for plumbing your proportioner to bleach and water. We'll have more about plumbing your proportioner to your pump in part two of this series. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing the proportioner.